हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वी आर स्टडिंग हाउ टू कंज्यूम वे बी पी आई यूजिंग एच टी टी पी क्लाइंट क्लास इन डॉट नेट एप्लीकेशन टिल नाउ वी हैव स्टडीड हाउ टू कंज्यूम गेट रिक्वेस्ट पोस्ट रिक्वेस्ट एंड पुट रिक्वेस्ट नाउ द लास्ट मेथड दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू कंज्यूम डिलीट रिक्वेस्ट सो लेट एस सी द मेथड एसोसिएटेड विथ इट सो टू कंज्यूम अ डिलीट रिक्वेस्ट एच टी टी पी क्लाइंट क्लास हैज प्रोवाइडेड अ डिलीट असिंक मेथड सो लेट एस सी दिस इन एक्शन सो आई एम स्विचिंग टू विजुअल स्टोरी सो कंज्यूमिंग अ डिलीट रिक्वेस्ट इज क्वाइट एन ईजी कोड बिकॉज जस्ट यू हैव टू पास द आई डी दैट यू वॉन्ट टू डिलीट सो हियर अगेन वी आर यूजिंग द सेम कंसोल एप्लीकेशन दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड लास्ट टाइम विच इज कंज्यूम वे बे पी आई आई ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ क्लास टेस्ट कंज्यूम डिलीट एंड द बेसिक नेसेसरी कोड इज एडेड हियर दैट इज क्रिएटिंग अ ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ क्लाइ एच टी टी पी क्लाइंट क्लास एंड स्पेसिफाइंग द बेस एटेड सो हियर वॉट यू हर टू डू You have to accept the ID of a product that you want to delete. Okay. So using console dot read line and console dot write line, I have accepted the product that I want to delete. So we know already the method name. So you have to say client dot delete async and specify the name of your controller. And to this controller, we are going to pass the ID as well. so let us build this string so our id is in variable id either you can convert it to two string also otherwise it get converted no issues and we are going to collect the result so var delete task okay again this is an asynchronous method so we have to say delete delete task dot wait after that collect the result again rest of the process is same as we did it in post and put so after deleting task complete we have to collect the result okay so where result is equal to delete task dot result and then check status code so if result dot its success status code in that case we are displaying the message that product deleted successfully okay otherwise we'll see console dot write line error okay quite easy right now you are familiar with this code now let us check our way bpi delete method so this is our delete method right it is accepting an id we are finding that product by id if it is present then we are returning okay and we are removing it also and if it is not present we are sending not found okay now let us switch to our consuming application so now my startup object is going to be test consume delete so i have to go to project properties which is already open here in application tab i have to say test consume delete okay so we are done from this side also now let us check the product list in the database so we have these many products so let us try to delete one of them let us try to delete this fourth product okay we are expecting the output that product deleted successfully because it is present so let us run our application so here i'll say debug and start without debugging so enter the product to delete so my product id is 4 so yes product deleted successfully okay so again try to run this with invalid product id again i'll say start without debugging i'll say something 80 so this product id is not present yeah we got the error now let us check the output in the database so now the fourth product is present here we deleted it rerun this query yeah that fourth product got deleted okay now again switch to our consuming application initially i forgot to mention one thing so whenever you are trying to consume any request make sure this package is installed and i already told you how to install this package in consuming get request video so i hope you enjoy this and you understood 
how all the requests are consumed using HTTP client. Let me know if you have any concerns, doubts or questions. Thank you for watching.